Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for a biotech company. So I am an owner of a biotech company and I'm promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And what I want is that every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically all the data of that lead should be transferred into my Google Sheets. For that, we need to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. In Pabli Connect, to start an automation process, we need triggers and actions. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads and my action application is going to be Google Sheets. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for biotech company. So I am an owner of a biotech company that is BioPlus and I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And what I want is that every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically all the details of the lead should be transferred into my Google Sheets. So this is the spreadsheet that I've created in my Google Sheet and whenever any lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically the detail of the lead should be added into my Google Sheets. For that, we are going to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli, that is pabli.com. After opening the website, we need to sign in to our Pabli account. But if you are a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm going to sign in to my Pabli account by clicking on sign in. After that, you can see the Pabli's all apps window in front of you, in which there are five functions of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then in a new tab, you can see Pabli Connects dashboard and to start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. For that, we have to click on this top right corner button that is create workflow. Then a new dialog box will appear in front of you, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as BioPlus Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. After giving a name to our workflow, it is asking for us to select our folder. And on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account. If you want, you can create your own folder by clicking on this plus button right over here. So if you are going to click on this arrow right over here, you can see these are the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account. I want to save this workflow in Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheet folder. So I'm going to select it. After that, we are going to click on create in order to create a workflow. Then you can see I've created a workflow in the name of BioPlus Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. And there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our automation process depends on these two steps. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step, but various action steps. So firstly, we are going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here, and it is asking for us to choose our trigger application. And as in the introduction, I've already told you that the trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to select it. After that, it is asking from us to choose our trigger event. And our trigger event is going to be new lead instant. This means that every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly, Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. After choosing our trigger application and trigger event, we are going to click on connect in order to authorize Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Then a new window will open in front of you in which we have to click on add new connection. And if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, we have to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Then you can see we have successfully authorized Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After that, it is asking for us to choose a page. So in my Facebook account, I have created a page in the name of BioPlus for my business. And on this page, I'm going to promote my Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to go back to my Pabli Connect and I'm going to select my page as BioPlus. After selecting the page, it is asking for us to select a lead gen form. So I have created a lead gen form in the name of Facebook lead form. So I'm going to select this lead gen form. If you want to learn how to create your own lead ads form, then you can check out our YouTube channel. So I'm going to go back to my Pabli Connect and for the lead gen form, I'm going to select it as Facebook lead form. After selecting the page in the lead gen form, I'm going to click on save and send test request. After that, you can see it is saying over here waiting for webhook response. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to generate a test lead. For that, I'm going to open my lead ads testing tool. 
as you can see this is the lead ads testing tool if you want to learn how to have the access of lead ads testing tool you can check out our youtube channel so firstly it is asking for the page so for the page i'm going to select it as bio plus and second for the form i'm going to select my form as facebook lead form so with this lead ads testing tool i'm going to submit in a test lead for that we have to click on preview form so as you can see this is the form that i've created in which it is asking for the full name email and the mobile number so i'm going to fill in all the details so firstly for the full name i'm going to write it as dummy user after that for the email i'm going to write it as dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com and lastly for the mobile number a dummy mobile number so as you can see this is the dummy mobile number after filling all the details we are going to click on next and then on submit to submit the form after that as you can see over here it says your test lead has been sent so i'm going to go back to my public connect account and i'm going to check whether public connect has captured the response of the new test lead generated or not for that i'm going to open my public connect account and yes as you can see right away a response is captured for the full name it says dummy user for the email as dummy user at the rate publicdudes.com and lastly for the mobile number a dummy mobile number so this means that we have successfully connected facebook lead ads with public connect after setting up our trigger step we need to set up our action step for that we have to click on this arrow right over here it is asking for us to choose our action application so as in the introduction i've already told you that our action application is going to be google sheets so i'm going to select google sheets after selecting our action application we need to select our action event and our action event is going to be add new row we have selected this action event as add new row so that every time a new lead is generated with the help of facebook lead ad and public connect captures the response that response should be added into a google sheet and a new row should be added after that i'm going to click on connect in order to authorize google sheets with public connect then a new window will appear in front of you on which we have to click on add new connection but if you have an existing connection you can choose this option after that i'm going to click on sign in with google and as you can see a new window has opened in front of you in which it is asking for a permission so i'm going to click on allow as this is a safe process and my data is safe with pably connect so i'm going to click on allow now we have successfully authorized google sheets with pably connect after that it is asking for us to select a spreadsheet so in my google sheets i have created a spreadsheet in the name of bio plus customer details so i'm going to go back to my public connect and i'm going to select my sheet as bio plus customer details after that it is asking for us to select a sheet so in my spreadsheet i've created a single sheet in the name of sheet 1 so i'm going to go back to my public connect and i'm going to select my sheet as sheet 1 but if you have created multiple sheets in your spreadsheet you can choose a specific sheet in which you want to transfer the data in after that it is asking for the name email and the mobile number so in my spreadsheet i've created three fields as name email and mobile number so i want that every time a new lead is generated in my facebook lead ads automatically all the details should be transferred into these three fields for that what we are going to do is i'm going to go back to my public connect and now we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert the data from my previous trigger step for that we have to click over here on this field as you can see over here it says facebook lead ads new lead instead so this is the previous response so what we are going to do is we are going to click on this arrow right over here and as you can see this is all the data that was captured in our previous response so as i want the data for the name so i'm going to map the data for the name So I've completed mapping the data for the name so that every time a new response is captured in my Facebook lead ads automatically according to the new response the data over here will be updated after that it is asking for the email so I'm going to map the data again for that we are going to click over here then it is saying Facebook lead ads new lead instead so I'm going to click on this arrow right over here and as I want the data for the email so I'm going to map the data for the email and lastly for the phone number we are going to follow the same steps I'm going to click over here click on this arrow and as i want the data for the phone number so i'm going to map the data for the phone number so as you can see i've completed mapping the data so that every time a new response is captured in our trigger step automatically the data over here will be updated or whenever a new lead is generated with the help of facebook lead ads according to the data of the new response the data over here will be updated after that what i'm going to do is we are going to click on save and send test request So as you can see over here it says that responses received so I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to check whether the data from the lead that we have generated is transferred into our google sheets or not for that I'm going to go back to my google sheet 
And yes, as you can see, we have successfully transferred the data from the new lead that we have generated with the help of Facebook lead ads into the Google Sheet that we have created. So now for all of you, I'm going to generate a new test lead with the help of lead ads testing tool so that all the data that we have filled in our lead, automatically that data should be transferred into this Google Sheets and a new row should be added. For that, I'm going to open my lead ads testing tool. As you can see, this is the lead ads testing tool. And over here it says you can create one lead per form. You need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So with the help of this form, I've already generated a lead. So I have to delete the existing lead. For that, we have to click on delete lead. After that, you can see it says your lead has been deleted. Now I'm going to click on refresh to refresh the page. It is very important for us to first delete the lead and then refresh the page because we can only create one lead per form. And if you're not going to do that, you will not be able to generate another test lead. After that, it is asking for us to select a page. So for the page, I'm going to select it as bio plus and for the form, I'm going to select it as Facebook lead form. So as you can see, I've selected the page in the form. After that, I'm going to click on preview form. So this is the form that I've created and I'm going to fill in the details for the full name, email and mobile number. So as you can see, I have filled all the details that this form was asking for. For the full name, it says test account. For the email as test account at the rate pablitudes.com. And lastly, for the mobile number, a dummy mobile number. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on next and then on submit to submit the form. As you can see over here, it says your test lead has been sent. So I'm going to go back to my Google Sheets and I'm going to check whether the data of the new lead that we have generated right now is transferred into my spreadsheet or not. For that, I'm going to open my Google Sheets. And yes, as you can see, our data is successfully transferred into my Google Sheets. Firstly, for the name, it says test account. For the email, it says test account at the rate pablitudes.com. And lastly, for the mobile number, a dummy mobile number. That means we have successfully connected Facebook lead ads with Google Sheets. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I am a biotech company owner that is BioPlus and I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And what I wanted was that every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically all the data of that lead should be transferred into my Google Sheets. For that, we have created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. To start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. So I have created a workflow in the name of BioPlus Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets. After that, we need to set up our trigger and action step. For the trigger step, I've taken my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and my trigger event as new lead instead. That means every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly, Public Connect is going to capture the data of that new lead generated. After that, we have set up our action step. Firstly, for the action application, we have taken it as Google Sheets and our action event as Add New Row. That means every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, all the data of that lead should be transferred into my Google Sheets and a new row should be added. So this is how we create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video. So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pabli Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.